So off we went down to Edbury Motors, full of excitement at the prospect of finding the ultimate landscape photography wagon. What the f do you want? Well, I thought we'd just have a look at that camper there. Oh, Jesus. It's not for you. Well, what do you mean? It looks looks like a pretty good deal. <laughs> Aye, there's a reason for that. Well, can we just uh, can we just have a look at it then? If you must. Maybe the salesman was right. Perhaps this wasn't the ultimate vehicle for our photography adventures. I was starting to get a weird vibe about this camper. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but there was a certain sense of familiarity. I was at least comforted by how seriously the salesman was taking his social distancing. Get in. You can't beat classic British hospitality. gross but we could fix it up maybe clean yeah. it up it's just a little bit grotty but with a bit of tlc it could be all right eh? yeah. but still 500 dollars seems a bit too good to be true i told you there was a reason it was cheap What are you doing with that laptop? I told you I do life coaching on Zoom with me flute. But why are you doing it on the crapper? Listen, Nigel, I'll have to go. If you must know, Gavin, I do it in the bathroom because I can charge an extra five bucks for the reverb. Oh, that, that does make sense, actually. That That is, it is good reverb. It is good reverb, actually. Is this your camper, then, and you're selling it for $500? Well, yeah, but there's conditions. Ah, I knew this was too good to be true. Yeah, but you, you can still have it for 500 bucks, but I get to use it for my life coaching, for, you know, for the reverb. No, no, this is not going to work. Forget it. Well, why not? Well, you know, it's, it's for us. We need our privacy, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, Adam. This, this is not going to work. Have you got another option? Well, I could turf him out, but it'll cost you the dog. What? What? Oh, Cletus, what do you want Cletus for? Well, I'm starting a YouTube channel and everyone knows you need a dog if you want to build an audience. Well, that, that is that is true, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is true, actually. All right, how about this? I'll let you borrow Cletus if you get rid of Uncle Grumpy and I'll give you $500 for this piece of shit camper. Deal. This is just a loner, all right? Get out. Even though I was completely charmed by the salesman's courtesy and smooth negotiation skills, I couldn't quite shake the feeling that something didn't quite add up. Perhaps there was more to this deal than I realized. Congratulations, Adam. Your evil plan worked. Thanks, buddy. No problem. 100,000 subscribers, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, it was, it was just a nightmare. What happened? Where's Cletus? He's right here. Oh, that, that is a relief. I tell you what else is a relief. This camper of Amanda's is way better than that old beater. Anyway, should we get off to the west coast? Yeah. I've got a sunset, a moonset, and maybe even some Milky Way photography. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want a coffee? Yes, please. All right. Future husband. What? Just one cup for me. All right. Right, got me water. That's from home. Stick it in the kettle, put it on the thing, put it on high, spark. Okay, so I get my paper filter, wang it in the drip system, stick it in my cup, and then I get my coffee. Pre-ground, we've ground this at home. I'm gonna have one spoon for me, one for you. And then one just for flavour. And then one more. 
Um, I've got a confession to make. What? There's only enough coffee for me. Would you uh, Would you enjoy a tea? I see you've already pulled out the bag, so sure. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh. This is so cosy, isn't it? So cosy. This has always been a dream of mine, you know. Just to be able to sleep where you shoot, double your chances of getting that killer shot. Yeah. May I ask you a question? Well, you just did. Yeah. You're not just dating me because of the trucking camper, are you? God, Amanda. What kind of a shy talk do you think? I would, I would never, never, never do anything like that. Prove it. What? Huh? Change your Facebook status. Why? Because your love means nothing if it's not public. No, 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 that goes against all of my values and my policies. Do it. Facebook, I guess I gotta log in. Yeah. Relationship stays. I gotta just put this complicated then. Engage, probably. No, don't, don't push it in a relationship. Okay, sure about this? Yeah. This will make you happy. Oh my god, yeah. Mm. I've been waiting, like, how long? Okay. It's official. Yeah, let me see. Yep. Thanks. You can drive. <laughs> a full guided tour of Amanda's camper but until then we're gonna need your help giving it a name so please post a comment if you've got an idea and so we hit the road on our long journey to the southwest coast of Vancouver Island to shoot the sunset at this very special beach now, if you want to see more videos like this one, bosh that like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to tickle my bell. Landscape photography is always challenging for me because I always seem to arrive on location either too late or just in the nick of time. Luckily, we made it just in time with minutes to spare before the sun set directly through this waterfall on the beach. Being able to combine my love of waterfall photography and sunset photography, well, that was just the icing on the cake because these are the experiences that I live for. Those precious few seconds when all the stresses of day-to-day -day life simply melt away and all I can think about is the beauty of this moment. west coast of Vancouver Island and I apologize for not filming the shot that I just captured because as soon as we arrived the conditions were just absolutely perfect and I just didn't have time to even do any b-roll or setup or even explain what I was shooting I just had to get busy and shoot because what I was capturing was the sun which has just gone down behind us it was actually setting over that horizon line there through these columns of water that you can see coming off that waterfall is absolutely perfect so what do you do stop to film or just take the shot so i took the shot i mean that was kind of, that's going to be tough to beat that's that sunset I, 
I wish I could have shot that sunset for you. But what I will try and do is, in about ooh, 25 to 40 minutes, after the sun's gone down and we start to get that almost blue hour type of light, there should be this beautiful two-color gradient on the horizon, which will be kind of like, hopefully, a sort of purpley pink color to blue. And so that'll be like, almost like a pure gradient where you'll see two colors merge into one. So I'll try and get a similar composition to the one I just shot, but with that type of light in the background. So, and if that looks like it's gonna work, I should have a bit of time and set up for you, and you won't miss that one. But already I'm glad we came. So I've been here a bunch of times and I was kind of worried that the water in the waterfall would either be non-existent or way too much, but it's just the absolute perfect volume. It couldn't be better. If I, if I could order it, that's exactly how much water volume I would get. And then the other thing that I love about this coastline, and it's pretty much the same all the way up to Tofino, is you get this ocean spray. You can probably just see it in the background. It's just this, these particles of water that are just floating in the air. When the sun hits that, you get these beautiful light rays and atmospherics, then he just creates a beautiful mood. So I, I'm very glad we came. I, I've already got one shot out of this. It was totally worth the just, drive. Just for that. If I can get this second one with that gradient in the background, that would be nice. Then if I can get that Milky Way shot. Oh. And then the other thing is we've got a half moon, which by the time that the Milky Way is really, really powerfully bright, the moon will just be about ready to set. So I want to get that sort of 15 to 20 minutes just before it's set where it's not so bright that you can't see the Milky Way but it's bright enough to light all of these cliff edges and give it a nice bit of relief. Best of both worlds. So we'll see, fingers crossed. Is it snack time? Chocolate. Chocolate. And I brought coffee as well. Now, I will share my chocolate with you. Look at this, she's got a sleeping bag. Oh, he's so cold. Yeah, I, it, honestly, it's freezing. It was 27 degrees in Nanaimo, and then we got here. It's what, 12 degrees? But I like it, it's cozy. Man, these waves are getting a bit close, aren't they? What are you doing? It's cold. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, I will share my chocolate with you, all right? But you've got to suck it, not chew it. You've got to make it last. I know you, you just, just gobble it down and then it's gone. So I'm going to meter these out one at a time. Otherwise, she'll just scarf the whole pack if I give her control of it. So what I do is I have my... Oh, this is caramel, by the way. I love these, they're so nice, especially with coffee. I'm so putting that in my pocket, you can't get at it. And I suck it. And then I pour my coffee. And I make it last. Mm -hmm. What do you think? About what? About this spot. It's beautiful. Yeah? I love it. Would you come here again? Mm-hmm, tomorrow. We could camp here, you know. I do have a sleeping bag. <laughs> it's kind of up for a drive. I haven't seen a single mosquito yet. Okay, I might have chewed that one. Hey, you can't do that and tell me I can't. Sorry. It's so good though, isn't it? Yeah. After a much needed sugar and caffeine boost, it was time to get back to work and record a tutorial for you guys in that gorgeous two-tone sunset afterglow. With my cat-like agility and the flexibility of seasoned concrete, I gracefully got into position to record my tutorial. But would my Sony batteries survive the next three minutes? Okay, so with this shot, you can already see in the background this lovely gradient happening in the sky. Now I reckon it, it should get quite a bit better than it is right now, but uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll take the shot now. And you can see it's got this kind of like almost pink color, which fades into blue, which I really like. So that's, that's nice. And it's, it's only taking up a small portion of the frame. The rest of the frame, and I'll just increase the ISO so that you can see what I'm working with. Look at that. I've got three waterfalls, four if you count the one in the background in that little space there. And of course, in the background, we've got that lovely uh, horizon line with those gorgeous colors. What I've done is I've, I've switched the polarizer off, basically. I have a polarizer on here, and I'm, I'm turning it so that it's really not doing anything. So watch this. If I turn this, you'll see that this is, it's lost that sheen. It's lost that very, very bright reflection. Well, most of the time I don't want that, but in this instance, I want that because that's where some of the color is being reflected from the sky there. So I'll turn that again. So you see that's, that's completely cutting off that. And then if I turn it, 
Look at that, it brings that light back. And of course, any color that's in the sky will be reflected in there. Now, let me just clean the lens again, because there's quite a lot of spray coming off this waterfall. So I'll just clean that. So earlier, with the, the first composition that I had, I had the, the sun setting through that column of water that you can see coming down, almost just off center there, just absolutely glorious. Right now, it's just a bit of color that's coming through it, but I still really like it. And so I've got this shape in the foreground, which I will have to focus stack. And then, of course, the rest of the image, I'll probably be able to get in one other exposure in terms of focus, but I'll probably do a range of different shutter speeds just so that I can choose different bright spots in the water, different elements of texture. I just like to have as many options as I can get. And I can already see that the color is starting to get better in the background. So if I, if I turn that down a little bit, you'll see those colors becoming really rich. And of course I can enhance those in post. But yeah, it's a very, very basic, but quite powerful shot. Uh, definitely with the dynamic light I got earlier, this is a much more subtle light than what I had earlier, but it's still quite beautiful. And so you have all of these different elements. You've got this cool rock in the foreground, the cliffs just up there, four columns of water in these waterfalls. And then in the distance, you've got the beach, those atmospherics from all that ocean spray, the horizon line, and that lovely gradient in the sky. So I'm, again, this is the second bonus of today. This might be the bonus shot. I won't know if it's as good as the earlier one until I process it. it. It could be one of those types of shots. Yeah, so the light isn't absolutely amazing, but I do like the atmospherics and I really like the composition. So if it turns out any good, here's the shot. That shot in the bag, Amanda fell asleep on the beach and I waited for the moon. In no time at all, that gorgeous piece of cheese in the sky began its gradual descent and for once I was ready with some creative ideas to capture that beautiful moonset on this gloriously deserted beach. Right, I hope you can hear me over the sound of the waterfall there as it roars. And this is the most uncomfortable position ever. Okay, it's 1.30 a.m. I've had zero minutes of sleep and I do have a face like a cauterized prolapse, but I'm in a good mood and I'm happy because I've got the moon just about to set, I would say about 20 minutes from setting, down over that horizon of the Pacific Ocean. And what it's doing right now, hopefully you can see, can you see this waterfall? Hopefully you can, I don't know. But my, my concept with this shot is to get the waterfall backlit by that moonset and then all of these cliffs, well, the, the underhang of this cliff with these lovely rock formations are gonna get lit up also by that beautiful side light from the moon. And in the distance, you, you obviously you can't see it now, way off in the distance, you can just see the, um, the coastline disappearing into nothing. It's kind of misty, it's quite an ethereal shot. I can't show you on the back of the camera because it, it's just it's too tight. These quarters are too tight and it's, it's dark anyway, so you really wouldn't see much. But basically, what I'm doing is I've got an aperture of f6.3. I know you can't see this. I don't really know why I'm pointing at it. And the reason why I'm shooting at f6.3 is I don't need to shoot super wide open at 2.8 because that, that setting moon is quite bright. So it's giving me a lot of side light. And even with 6.3, this foreground is still relatively sharp. Now the moon is lighting up this, this river rock that's like well, ocean rock, call it what you want. These lovely rocks in the foreground, like I say, this, these rock formations here. ISO 2000, I don't really need to crank it any higher than that because again, that moonlight is really bright. And I'm starting with a 30 second exposure. Now, the problem that I'm having, let me show you what a 30 second exposure looks like. Now you should be able to see 
that the the reflection of the moon on the water is completely blown out so i don't like that but i do like with a 30 second exposure i do like all of the light that has hit these like these surfaces here you know you can see all of those rock formations that gets beautifully lit on that much longer exposure but i'm gonna have to do some much faster exposures to fix that blown out moon reflection so i think maybe six or eight seconds for that it's kind of like bracketing really it's just bracketing at night and then i'll blend those exposures so anyway the moon is it's getting lower and i don't want to be shooting it just as it's going down the horizon because then it'll be really really soft won't be as punchy and bright and making this lovely backlit effect on the water so i'm gonna stop waffling commit to this shot and get it done and if it looks any good well here's the shot well did it look any good no, not really. Not any better than that 30 second exposure you just saw. So, I went back to my first composition to reshoot it under moonlight, and this is what I got. So that's now three different versions of the same composition. So let me know which one you preferred. Was it the sunset? the blue hour or the moon set. Believe it or not, this is just one exposure. And I did shoot an extra frame to focus stack that rock in the immediate foreground, but in the end, I decided not to use it. And as for that Milky Way image I was hoping to shoot, well, that didn't happen because immediately after I shot this last image, I turned around in the moonlight to see a ghostly shrouded figure stood 10 feet away and you can imagine my relief when I realised it was just Amanda who'd finally woken up after a two hour catnap in a sleeping bag but it was too late, the damage had been done, my pants had been shat. Do it. This is your chance to be <coughs> a psycho. Do oh, right, it. Sorry, I am, I'm a creeper still. Yeah. That's right. This is where the darkness comes back out, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh. Yeah. Right, ready? No, that, that goes against all my values, my policies. Do it. Why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> it's so hard. That's how it's got to be. I would never, never do that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's this? I like it though. Why? Because you're lying. <laughs> this is just a loner, right? F <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm trying to make it creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is not going to work. Forget it. Well, why not? Well, you know, it's it's for us. Like we need our privacy. <laughs> that is creepy. What are you doing with that laptop? I told you last time. I do zoom. <laughs> <laughs> there again. For the reverb, you see? A bit more camp on the reverb. <laughs> oh, God. No! Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's open again. There you go. Hand out of the way. All leashed up and ready for something, aren't you, little buddy? Listen, Nigel, I'll have to go. If you must know, Gavin, I do it in the bathroom because I can charge an extra five bucks for the reverb. <laughs> <laughs> so camp. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> the sigh was so good. The sigh was so good. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Looks like a, a bargain, doesn't it? It's not for you. What do you mean it's not for me? It's <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I don't know. What the f? <laughs> <laughs> do that! Do, do that! Can you believe? <laughs> yeah, I'll bleep it out. <laughs> What 
what the f*** is <laughs> 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 what the f do you want? I'm sorry. What the f does he want? I don't know what he wants. What does he want, Adam? What do I take off then? Jesus, help me. What the f do you want? Well, I was, I was thinking we... <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> well, I was thinking we'd have a look at that camper. It's not for you. <laughs> oh my God, that's that. It's not for you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the f*** do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Is it about the Toyota? What the f do you want? <laughs> I've never seen you. This is going. This is going to be brutal. <laughs> well, I was, I was thinking we could come and have a look at the camper. Looks like a good deal. It's not a good deal, and it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do it again. Uh -huh. I was thinking we could come and have a look at the camper. Looks like a good deal. It's not a good deal, and it's not for you. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> right. there's a reason for that. <laughs> I love how they come up and down. What the f? <laughs> You're crying. Sorry. Jesus. What the f do you want? Well, what do you mean? I mean, it looks like a bargain, really. Aye. <laughs> What's with the crash helmet?